All right guys, welcome back to another video here on Andrew Upshaw Fishing. Today's video, slightly different than some of the others. Today I'm gonna walk you through the newly redesigned Bass Cat Era. The Era is a boat that I've run for quite a few years now. It's definitely one of my favorite boats that Bass Cat's made. But you know what? They made a few adjustments to this year's model. The 2021 Bass Cat Era is of what you're about to see now. Now I got the boat a few weeks ago, took it to my guy. He installed all the really good stuff that I needed for the tournament trial. I'll leave in just a couple of days. So I got it back just in time to load this puppy up. I haven't even loaded it yet, so you're gonna get to see a behind the scenes look of what this boat looks like before I load everything in. So let's go take a look at it. Let's see what is new with the Bass Cat Era. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right guys, so let's take a look at the new Bass Cat Era. The Bass Cat Era measures out at 20 foot two inches long. It's a perfect mix between that 19 and 21 foot bass boat. It's not too big that it feels like a battleship, but it's not so small that it can't handle that rough water. And that's one of the many reasons I pick the Bass Cat Era. The way I always say that this boat handles is kind of like a jet ski but like a four by four jet ski so i can zip in and around waves perfectly i don't get wet i don't spear them and it's super fast uh one thing that you'll always know about me if you if you're new to this channel you might not know but i carry a ton of tackle guys like i probably carry close to double the the tournament load to a normal uh angler or professional angler I just like having everything in my boat. Uh, I'm, I'm a very versatile angler, so my boat typically isn't as fast as some of the other bass cats. But even then, with a double tournament load, I'm still running 73 to 74, 75 miles an hour, which is plenty, plenty fast. So let's take a look at a couple of the newest features here on my bass cat. The first thing I'm going to show you is the new floor. This is a a prototype i'm actually might get in trouble for showing you this but this is a new floor model i think only me and one other professional angler has this floor on their boat and guys i'm already gonna tell you i love it it's a polycarbonate proprietary material that only bass cat has right now and the thing is is you can wash it easy you can dry it easy and you don't show a lot of stains as you can see here it's super compact it's out of the way and one thing about it I'm tough on equipment. There's nobody that knows that better than I do. I can tell you right now, I'm going to put this thing to the test and I'm going to see exactly how this new floor works for me. But I'm telling you right now, I I called <laughs> I called Basket up after they put this in here and I told them flat out. I said, "Guys, y'all could put this in my boat where all the carpet is and I would absolutely love it." So, you know, obviously that's one of the newest features in the 2021 basket now like i said this is a prototype so it's not gonna be in everybody's basket but i'm telling you it will be soon and so that's one big feature for sure one thing i noticed right off the jump is that my console is a slightly a little bit wider so as you can see here these are 12 inch garments and i have them dual mounted i'm a short guy i know most of you think i'm pretty tall but i'm not i'm kind of short and I can easily clear, I can see over these depth finders very, very easy. One of the reasons is, is because Bass Cat has installed these custom balls out mounts that fit on this console. So one thing about it is guys, depth finders continue to get bigger and bigger every day. And it is very important to be able to see over the depth finders and be able to make room for the dual mount. So that's one thing that I think Bass Cat's really knocked out the park here is making this console a little bit wider. I can see my tachometer easily, and I know exactly everything I need. I have it right here in front of me. So that dual mount is very important. I keep my steering wheel pretty low, 
that's another important key for me. I'm a short guy, so I, I need the access to be able to maneuver my boat. Here's another new feature, and I honestly, I didn't know Bass Cat's intentions on this, but it's absolutely one of my favorite things that they did on the new updated 2021 Bass Cat era. If you look here, this is just your back compartment right behind the passenger seat right here. So if you open this thing up, it's kind of a weird shape. It looks like home plate, okay? So I'm gonna call it my home plate box. But if you look right here, there's actually another box right there. So you open this box up. It's like, okay, why does my co-angler need a day box? It's not really for that, guys. Watch what happens now. I take this little insert out and if you can see in there, that's where my new power pole pumps are located. So they're super easy access. If I have a pump go bad, all I gotta do is take that little insert out. I have quick and easy access to my pump. I can take it out and, and fix it. The other thing is, if you've ever run a bass cat, uh, their live well feature, they actually have a filter built into the live well. So every time you're recircling water, the, the thing is, if you're a bass fisherman, you know, the more you fish grass lakes, lakes that have sand or a lot of mud, that builds up in your live well over time. Well, the other thing is, is it clogs up your pipe. So this filter is in here and it gives you super easy access to that filter. So if your pumps are running slow or not as fast as you want them to, you can actually remove that filter super simple clean it out and put it back in there that was one of my biggest complaints with bass cats uh last year's model was it was a lot harder to get to that filter because i like to clean my filter just about every third tournament uh, i think it's very important to keep that water moving and having that filter at super easy access makes my life way way easier so that's one of my favorite new uh things that bass cats done with this 2021 is this super easy access compartment and I can even put things in here. I can put little tools. I can put all kinds of little gadgets in there. And knowing me, I'll probably have tackle in it of some sort. So that's one of the newest inventions here on the 2021 Bass Cat. When you talk about the moving of the power pole pumps, one thing that it opened up for is a lot more room in the back compartment. So if you're carrying tools, a spare prop, anything like that, you have plenty of space to do it in the back compartment and it stows away super easy if you want to carry extra batteries anything like that you have extra space one thing that bass cats done a really really good job of is opening up this back compartment so as you see here you have you have two batteries you have a breaker you got two batteries on that side and they're they're actually bolted down but down there in the bottom you're going to actually see your build pumps and live well pumps so they're super easy access so if you have a pump go bad which we've all had that happen at least once or twice in our life you can easily access these pumps and get off and in the water super fast so that's one very important aspect of this is be able to switch things out on the fly especially for me you know as a professional angler one of the most important things is time and having the access of getting to pumps getting to power pole pumps and things like that that saves me time, which in turn makes me more money. And the other thing is it just makes life a lot easier at the end of the day. So we've gone through uh, a few of the newest features of the Bass Cat era. Now I'm gonna show you a few things that I have on my tournament bass boat that I think are somewhat essential. So I'm not saying you have to buy these by any means, but I think that they make a world of difference when I'm on the water. One of the best things that you can have on the water is a good troll motor. Here I have a Garmin Force. This is, they call it a 100 pound thrust, but I'm telling you right now, guys, it is one of the fastest, most powerful troll motors I've ever used in my life. It has, they say it's a 100 pound thrust. Uh, Minn Kota, I think, ranges there is like a 112. This is 30% stronger than your traditional troll motor, but not even just about the Garmin troll motor. But one thing I'm gonna tell you, if you have a big boat like this, you need a powerful troll motor. And right now, the availability of spot lock, uh, anchor lock is very uh, prevalent. You can get them easily. Almost every troll motor is coming out has that feature. So that is definitely one thing that I would have on a new boat. Uh, it's very, very important. I would say it's equal importance of a power pole, but I'll get in that in just a minute. But having that Garmin Force troll motor has saved my tail numerous times. It doesn't burn as much battery. When I'm out there on the water, I can tell you one thing. 
I don't have to charge my batteries near as much as I used to. They have come so far in the technology of troll motors that I'll actually burn less battery. And plus, I have a really cool feature in the back of this boat right now that makes my life even easier too. One thing on my Bass Caddy Euro that's brand new, and I feel like only a couple of us have it now, is this new Bass Boat Technologies mount. This mount is absolutely revolutionary. For a bass cat, you know, if you've ever fished a tournament out of a bass cat and your buddy pulls up to the dock and you're getting ready to get in, they have that big hole in the front. Well, if you're like any other angler out there and you have a couple graphs maybe, or maybe your troll motor pedal, or you have all these little things in the way, it's really hard to step in and out of your boat. I mean, we've all been there. Well, this new panel actually covers up that entire hole and gives you a full space to step right here. So when you're getting in and out of the boat, it's going to be way easier, guys. Like, this, I'm telling you right now, they have, Bass Boat Technology has absolutely changed the game with this mount. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, guys, I'm not sponsored by Bass Boat Technology. Uh, Bass Cat actually sent me this mount for me to try it out because, once again, if anybody could break it, it would be me. So I'm trying this mount out for this year. I'm really excited about it. Um, I've got two Garmin's. On the front, this is going to be my pan optics unit. This is going to be my uh, regular sonar and map unit, which I like running regular sonar a lot. Uh, but yeah, guys, like this is really exciting. Like I'm, I'm really fired up about this. It adds a little bit of weight to your front, so you might have to change the picture of prop. But overall, definitely a winner in my book because it gives me a place to step and not fall in the lake. One feature I absolutely could not live without is power poles. Um, that's something that. I've made a lot of money with and I will continue to make a lot of money with you know with the uh, the abundance of spot lock and things guys are actually sitting there saying I don't need an anchor I don't need this that's wrong uh, if you're an eight foot or less in which let's be honest guys a lot of my fishing goes in eight foot or less unless it's in the summertime I need power poles and the reason is is when you're when you're trying to be stealthy and when, when I'm shallow I'm trying to be as stealthy as possible I want to be able to drop these poles down, sit really still. Even if my boat sways, it's not making a lot of noise. And that's one of the biggest keys and the biggest problems on the water is a lot of noise. So if you put your anchor lock on, on your troll motor, like your Garmin Force or Ultrex or any of the troll motors out there, one of the things it's going to do is it's going to keep spinning, especially if there's no wind. So it's, going to be, it's always going to spin and make noise and run the the blade so it's going to make more noise and your boat's going to move around a lot more even if it's anchored in one place if you've owned a troll motor like this you know exactly what i'm talking about so having those power poles is definitely an importance of mine one thing you're going to notice on my new bass cat era is a different motor i had a bunch of guys comment saying oh well i had definitely a yamaha underneath that sheet and i really didn't put a sheet on it to hide it it was just the fact that Honestly, that, that's the way they shipped it to me. So I just left the sheet on there because I was trying to protect it. But yes, I am running Yamaha for the 2021 season. I'm really excited to run it. I honestly haven't run a Yamaha in probably 12 years. That's right, 12 years. But it was one of the, actually I think it was the very first motor I ever had. I had a 115 on an Express, an 18 foot Express. And then the next boat I had was a Skeeter that had a 225. HPDI and then I had a champion that had a 250 HPDI and then I switched to Mercury and have been with Mercury ever since but I switched back to Yamaha this year and and I think it's going to be a good move I'm really looking forward to it you know they're a marquee sponsor of Bassmaster and they have a service trailer at every event and I'm going to tell you right now guys and I, I want y'all to take this to heart this has nothing to do with Mercury this has nothing to do with if I think a Mercury motor is bad or anything like that. Mercury has been fantastic to me. Their service crews, David McCormick, uh, Scotty, all of those guys are fantastic, fantastic people. And they kept me on the water day in and day out. It was just a, a time for a little bit of a move. I mean, guys, I really love it. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this year. I, a lot of new changes for me in 2021. And most of all is mindset, but no one is motor. So let's take a look at one of the other newest features in my Bass Cat. One new feature in my Bass Cat is the new Power Pole Charge. It is a charging system that does three different things. First off, obviously, it charges your batteries. 
which I mean we all need a charger for our batteries secondly though it will jump start your motor so it has a jumping switch built in you can use your app to see exactly how much power is remaining in your batteries which I think is fantastic so it actually will load test your batteries through the charger the third thing that it does is while you're running your motor it will actually charge your trolling motor batteries so if you're making a long run and you fish all day in one spot and you run back your troll motor batteries are probably going to be charged by the time you get back to the boat ramp it charges them pretty quick and very efficiently so that is three fantastic things that that new power pole charge does and definitely one of my favorite things that is on this bass boat if you're going to spend the kind of money that it takes to own a boat like this one thing that i absolutely recommend is a hydraulic jack plate jack plates come in a lot of different sizes but one thing about it is a hydraulic jack plate will save your bacon in certain situations so i'll give you a perfect example this year or this past season at the arkansas river i was fishing some very sketchy stuff and i was making a very sketchy run across some very shallow water what this hydraulic jack plate does is i can actually while i'm running i can jack the motor up and get it to where it's at its highest point and running through extremely shallow water now granted when you do something like that if you happen to hit something you're gonna spin out of control because there's not much in the water keeping you balanced so you got to be super careful if you do something like that but it does give you the ability to run a lot shallower water and i can think of so many other instances okeechobee when i used to fish okeechobee all the time you run those really shallow paths and i know you've probably seen some videos here lately of some pro anglers that were there running some sketchy water they all were running jack plates hydraulic jack plates and that is one crucial tip when running that kind of water is to have something like that because otherwise if you're running your motor all the way down you're gonna hit a rock you're gonna hit a stump and you're gonna knock your lower unit off and i'm telling you nobody wants that in their life whatsoever another key feature in my bass cat is my hot foot i truly believe that everybody needs a hot foot in their boat it's a gas pedal for a bass boat guys to just keep it super simple gas pedal for a bass boat it's definitely something that you need in your boat uh, i've seen some videos out lately that that say that you don't need one or they're unsafe okay guys i'm gonna break it down for you real quick if you're running a hand throttle motor and you're running down the lake and you're running in waves you're running straight up you've got one hand on your steering wheel and one hand on the throttle there's no way that you can tell me that when you're running that super sketchy stuff that one hand is all you need on the steering wheel they teach in driver's ed that you need two wheel two hands on the steering wheel now sometimes do we kind of like skip out on that and hold one hand absolutely but if you're running in things that are a little bit more dangerous the safer you can be is by having both hands on the steering wheel and that hot foot gives you that ability safety first guys hot foot will keep you safer no questions asked all right guys i'm gonna quickly go through the layout here on my bass cat era just for the fact that i know i'm gonna have somebody ask well what do the rod uh, lockers look like what do the storage look like so here's an example of the rod lockers I've, as you can see i have my seat in there but it has rod tubes in it so it makes life easier there this compartment here i have a spare live scope <laughs> but you can do a lot there you can put a lot of tackle it has a, a coffin style rod locker so that's that is one feature that i really love about this boat and this side same way so i can sit on one side and work on tackle on the other and then kind of switch seats if i need to get in the other compartment now here's the last two things that i'm going to talk about and i promise i'll leave you all alone at that point first thing is is something that i add to every single boat that i have and i think it makes a huge difference in getting in and out of my boat and not just for me but for my dad my dad is an older man i've got older uncles and cousins that like to bass fish but it's hard to get in and out of bass boats but this right here makes my life so much easier this is called the megaware flex step i haven't installed it on this boat yet basically just got my boat back yesterday so that is going to be installed on the trailer it makes it easy access in and out of the boat if i want to get something out of a compartment i can if i need to get in my boat i can with ease so one of the most important things that i ever put on my boat is that flex step pro and it's definitely saved my bacon more times than i can count i'm telling you like i said before guys i'm a short guy so 
trying to get in and get it in my boxes and we've all been there you put your boat on the trailer and you're like man i need that crankbait box out of that that middle compartment i need to go check it out so you like you climb up you try to climb up over here and you're like eh, you're trying to reach and you can't reach especially people like me and and i end up like I, I do that for about 30 seconds to a minute and then i get frustrated and just get in the boat with that flex step it actually gives you the ability to get in step up on the side without actually getting into your boat just step up on the side reach in grab what you need and get off and go it makes my life so much sim simpler so that's one thing that i definitely have on my boat another really important thing that i think all bass fishermen need on their boat is a kill guard that's right if you don't have a kill guard on your boat you're absolutely screwing up uh this is just a regular uh kill guard you know there's a hambies there's a mega wear kill guard these are very important guys if you're if you fish a lake that has rock gravel sand all of the above you need to have one of these mounted on your boat they're not very expensive they're super simple to 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 put on this boat was actually supposed to have a green one on there and uh bass cat accidentally put the black one on instead so i'm gonna have to run the black one this year but that's okay i'll have the green one on there next year for sure so that's another feature that you gotta have on these boats i mean guys at the end of the day there's so many things you gotta have on a bass boat now let me preface this you don't have to have them but if you're gonna own a boat that costs the amount of money of a boat that like this does these are like little features that will make your life easier i promise you that so trust me on that i've, I've had a bunch of these and this definitely one thing that i would have <laughs>
I've run a lot of boats in my day. I really have. I've run Skeeters. I've run Champions. I've run Legends from Bass Cats. I've run Tritons. I've literally, Rangers. I've run all of them. I really have, for the most part. I mean, there, there's a couple new ones that I had, like a Camus or a, a Vexus. Some of those I haven't run yet. But for the most part, the ones that have been around for the longest, I've probably been in them at least once or ten times. So, I'm going to tell you one thing about my Bass Cat era. There's a lot of different Bass Cats out there. And they're all good for their certain reasons. You know, uh, a Caracal comes to mind. I had a buddy tell me the other day, you can actually jack it up. When you get it off of your, uh, your truck, you can jack it up. If you jack it up high enough, it'll lift the front tires off the ground. And you can maneuver it around your garage easier. That's one really cool feature. The Cougar is one of the tournament guy's favorites. It's been around for a really long time. Definitely longer than the era. And guys really like it. Personally, I'm, I'm a era fan. Bass Cat would have to force me to run a different boat than an era. And if I ever run a different one, it's because they told me I had to. The era is far and beyond my favorite boat that they make. It's easy to use. It runs and performs every day the exact way that I want it to. Guys, if you get a chance though, go ahead and drop a comment below. What bass boat are you running what would you like to see in a bass boat or what is your favorite bass boat i don't care what it is it could be a skeeter it can be a aluminum boat it can be whatever but drop a comment below and if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button the bottom right hand corner of this screen it's a little square box that says subscribe on it just hit that and go ahead and subscribe it doesn't cost you any money though i had a question the other day i have a lot of guys on here that subscribe or follow me that that think that when you subscribe you got to pay something you don't have to pay anything not a single thing. All you gotta do is put your email in, your Gmail account, and subscribe that way, and it's super, super simple. So, and as uh, Bradley Holman says, all you closet Holman followers or closet Upshaw followers, I know you're watching my channel because there's 67% of you that aren't subscribed to my channel that are watching my videos. So go ahead and subscribe if you get a chance. So guys, thank you for watching this review of the 2021 Bass Cat Era and the things that I have on my bass boat for this coming season. I'll see you on the next video.